from bringing out issues of the likes of fairness and racial discrimination in a unique and a modern way, we have with us screenwriter and director Nicolas Khargonpour. His new film Akuni, which looks into the northeastern subculture in the nation's capital New Delhi, is already creating quite a buzz in the internet. Hello sir. Hi. So this is your first time in this festival, I presume? Yes, it is. Okay. So jumping right into the interview, we have all seen the amazing trailer of Akuni and like uh, we want to know the creative process behind it. What actually was the driving force which gave you an idea to make a movie in a theme as that? Um, so I've been working in the film for a while now and uh, I wanted to make a North East film that's been on my mind for a long time. So after the first film, um, I was thinking of how to approach it. And uh, setting a film in the Northeast has a whole set of its own problems, especially if you're in Bombay and you approach a production house in Bombay. So I was thinking perhaps a film that's set in Delhi about the Northeast might be more apt. It would still be about the Northeastern condition in a sense, but it would be about Northeasterners uh, outside the Northeast. You know? And there's a size of the population of people uh, from the Northeast in Delhi, Bangalore, and so on and so forth. So so, and since I've lived, you know, uh, outside the Northeast for a very long time myself, I thought uh, this was something I should get into. And getting the idea was not difficult because, um, you know, the whole thing of um, cooking something that smells a bit to your neighbors and, uh, and all your landlord and whatever is very common in, in Delhi and Tamil and so on because whether you're cooking dry fish or something else. There's always, you know, a stink to it, a stench to it, inputs. I mean, we love the smell, okay. you know, but uh, others do So, so that came, and then, of course, once you had that, you know, the, the, the crux of the idea, then you develop and try and build, since I'm more of um, a feature, uh, you know, a writer of feature films and, and plays and so on, I just have to develop and stretch it out a bit. So, how did you come up with the task of this movie? Um, again, uh, it, for me it was easy to do a film in, set in Delhi uh, because while it would be about the northeastern condition, uh, it also allowed me to use actors from Bombay. So, um, you know, so there was, uh, you know, there's a, there's a landlady, there's the landlady's uh, Sun Law, uh, all these were not Indian characters, you know, they could be actors who were based in Bombay. Um, so that was half the task, and the other half would be Northeastern. That, of course, was going to be a problem because there are not too many Northeastern actors in trying to find a lot of them. Of course, we have some established uh, you know, Northeastern actors, uh, like Lynn Maisha, who's in the movie, um, Son, who's also in the uh, but there aren't too many of them, and we were looking at a bigger cast. Um, so that took a while, but uh, it was something that needed to be done because, uh, in any case, I was looking to showcase a lot of movies. We are talking about fun itself, so can you tell us some off screen uh, instances of fun and like you know, uh, issues that you have rather faced while uh, you know, skipping this movie or screening this movie after? Um, so we shot the film in Delhi and we shot it in June, July, which is, I don't know if you've been in Delhi around that time, it's very, very hot. In fact, shoots won't happen in Delhi around that time. Um, usually shoots happen before the summer and after the summer. There are shoots that happen during the summer, but these are um, small shoots of a day, two days. You don't take on a whole film in June, July, because it's crazy. Uh, the heat just makes it impossible, and so you're left with fewer hours to work during, um, and everyone's strained, you know, uh, uh, there's um, fear of, um, uh, you know, people passing out because of dehydration, you know, a whole bunch of issues, and all these played out because we shot during that time, so it was very crazy. There was one time when we shot in, uh, um, which is the last sequence of the film where the marriage happens and the coming together of all of them, it's a festival happening. And it's shot over six days in a basement, 
and there was no ventilation. And uh, so by the first, second day, we were all, there was very little oxygen by the end of it. Because, of, you know, I mean, shooting a film, you have you know, 60, 70 people there, it's super hot, uh, there's no ventilation. So people started passing out, falling sick, and there were these regular treks to the hospital that happened, including to the actors, you know, a few of the actors, including Lin and, you know, a few others, um, had to be hospitalized. And then, and then they came back and they were in this really, you know, sickly state. And, uh, and then just before, you know, just before you say action, they had to suddenly perk up and, you know, lay out that part, you know, because that whole uh, section is very happy, you know, after they overcome the last bit of the film overcome everything, it's celebrity, uh, so they have to play it really happy, so at the point of action they will be very happy, and then once we sit up, then they will just fall back and ask for water to be on the bed, because they were always sick. Uh, so that was crazy, it, it, it was very tough on a lot of people. Uh, but we also had all sorts of small little crazy things happening, so that's part and parcel of it. Sir, uh, national movies like yours highlighting the issues of the region, often finds a good amount of viewership in the region itself. However, some regional movies, uh, which also highlights a few regional you know, uh, issues, do not find the same amount of viewership in the home ground itself. So sir, why do you think that is? See, uh, it's a difference of, um, of degree. We all, you know, ours, you might think is a national film, but it's an indie film. It doesn't have any of the big actors. You know, a lot of people, when it releases theatrically too, in the metropolises, especially the B towns, C towns, I don't even think it will go to those towns because it, it's the kind of film that will have no takers. So it's not even a national film. It's a national film in the sense that it's from Bombay and it will have a pan India release, but it will have a very small release. So it's a difference of degree, I'm saying. So if you have a film which is a Yashraj film, for instance, which deals with racism, it'll have a much wider reach, you know. We haven't gotten to that stage yet, but and hopefully we will. But if we get there, then it'll have a wider reach. So in the same way, this film has a wider reach than a regional film. You know, a, a, a film that is maybe set in Nagaland or in Mizoram. But um, you understand what I'm saying. It's still, ours is still a small film. And then, of course, uh, the, a Nagaland film uh, might be a very small film compared to a film that's set in a very small town in, in Nagaland. You know? So it's always about the audience. You know, the audience gets a little bigger, a little bigger. But at the same time, it's not that we are at the state where it's a where it's a, it's a huge uh, pan-Indian audience that we're targeting. This is not that kind of film. A, a Yashraj film is that kind of film. And we don't have a film, you know, a Yashraj kind of film that deals with issues like this is an enemy still um, issue. Sir, so, uh, when your inspirations are waning or when you feel creatively sad, uh, what do you do? How do you stay fresh and how do you keep yourself motivated after doing those uh, dark hours? Um, I don't know who it is who said uh, journalism is literature in a hurry because you know if you have to file a report the next day, you have no choice, you have to do it. So discipline plays a huge part in, in, in being an artist too, I feel. You know, you can be an artist who is swayed by emotions and says, oh, you know, I, I'm going through three months of, uh, you know, of not being able to write, not being able to think, etc. And, and I'm sure these people are wonderfully talented, etc. too, but I don't wish for something like that for myself. I'm very disciplined. It's, it's taken a long time to get to that stage, um, but, but for me, it's, it's work. Uh, I love this work, of course, but discipline is, is, is very important. So I don't really have, I may have a bad day, I may have a couple of bad days, but they're few and far between. And, uh, and I'm, you know, I start work at 7.38 in the morning, every, you know, virtually every day. Uh, those few hours in the morning are the golden hours when, when I write and think, um, mostly think. Um, so, so that way, you know, I, I just, um, it's work, it's work. It's work you love 
and you're at it every day and you enjoy it. You have a few small bad patches, but most of the times it's, it's, it's a daily affair. So with this we come to the end of this interview with camera person Sandeep Bora. This is Amnan Das, Voice Mojo. Thank you.